stitch is called the um, Afghan stitch or the Tunisian stitch. It requires to have a really, really long, long hook. This is a regular, of course, and I'm going to be using another needle after this. But a regular um, needle that you'll need is really, really long. This is the picture of the hook that you will need. Okay, now we're going to make a chain. I'm going to try my best. This is a uh, size E. It's a small one. I'm going to chain a chain of eight. So, so far I have two. This is three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm only showing you this one because it's easier to show you how to start it off if you want to use a regular one, if you're just going to make something small. Okay, and it looks very cute. It's like kind of like looks like it could be knitting mixed with crocheting, and that's why I've always liked it. But it's really tough, so this is more for an advanced uh, crocheter. Um, again, you'll have to use a different kind of crochet hook. I'm using this because someone is borrowing mine. But um, what you'll do first is we're going to go in this first chain, and we're going to grab it, bring it through. Then we're going to go through the next chain. And we're going to go up, grab the chain, I mean the yarn, and bring it up. And you'll have one, two, three. And we're going to go up. And we're going to do continue to do this to the end of this chain. Just um. Now, we're going to go and we're going to loop it around and we're going to bring it through the first loop and bring it up. We're going to loop the uh, yarn around the hook and we're going to go through two this time instead. We're going to go through this one, oops, sorry, and that one, the next one. We're going to go through, you're going to go up and bring it through. That's your first two chains. You're going to go through this next one, okay? And you're going to go up, bring it back through. And you're going to go through the next one, go up, bring it back through. You're going to go through the next one, and you're going to continue to do this to the very end. those on here. Now you're going to do the same thing as you did on the previous row. You're going to go through the first loop and you're going to make a first chain. Go up, loop it, bring it through. Two. Go up, grab it, bring it through. Two more. It's a little tight like I said when you're using a regular crochet needle. Go through. Two. Grab it, go through, two, grab it, and continue to do this to the end. And this is what it will look like. They call this a Tunisian crochet stitch. This video is brought to you by FaveCrafts.com. For more craft tips, ideas, and videos, visit FaveCrafts.com.